it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the best style for natural hair in my opinion and you'll see why after watching this video. Plus I'm going to give you tons of healthy hair and scalp, don't forget your scalp, tips using one of my favorite brands, Bread Beauty. And they've made several appearances here on my channel because the way their products work on my hair and my scalp is just kiss. So I'm excited to announce that we've partnered together to bring you this video. I'm going to start with wash day into styling my hair in these beautiful juicy twists. Then I'm going to go to the last day finish style. So keep on watching. I'm starting wash day on a three day old twist style. Typically I wash my hair twice a week but this time I'm gonna let the style stay in for a whole week without washing. Tip number one is to use warm water before shampooing because it helps to open the hair's cuticles and the pores on the scalp and it also helps to gently cleanse the hair. So definitely use some warm water before applying your shampoo. Tip number two is to separate your hair into sections for better manageability and this goes for wash day as well as styling your hair. Any step that you're doing, separating your hair into sections, it could be two, four, six, eight, whatever you feel comfortable with, it helps so much. For my shampoo, I'm using Bread Beauty's Hair Wash Gentle Milky Hair Cleanser and I love this so much. Not only does it have great ingredients, it's also clean and I really like applying clean products on my hair, my face, and also my body. And it smells like Fruit Loop Cereal Milk, which is amazing and it's so moisturizing, which takes me into tip number three to use a moisturizing shampoo because yes, I do want my hair and scalp to be very clean, especially working out and just being out with my children a lot but at the same time I don't want to compromise the natural oils of my hair or my scalp leaving it feeling dry flaky or itchy and a lot of times that could lead to damaging the hair or the scalp and I just don't want that to happen so if you do want a deeper cleanse I suggest to use a clarifying shampoo every two to three wash days and you could see how well the shampoo just glides right into my hair strands, which lets me know that this shampoo is great for me, which takes me into tip number four. Pay attention to how your hair feels with the products in it. Does your hair feel moisturized or strips of the natural oils or do you feel like your curls are clumping, which is a great sign? Or does it feel like the product is not actually penetrating and just skipping over your hair? These are qualities that you need to look out for. And tip number five is to add a little bit more water no matter if you're shampooing or deep conditioning. This helps to add a little bit more slip and allows your products to go even further. And doing this while shampooing, I tend to get a big lather and you know, I love my lather. And while shampooing, yes, I wanna make sure that my scalp is nice and clean. So tip number six is to use the pads of your fingers, not your fingernails, to massage your scalp. And tip number seven is to rinse out the shampoo thoroughly. And you just wanna make sure that you don't have any shampoo lingering on your hair or scalp because it can and will cause irritation. And you could see how moisturized my curls are, which is perfect. I want my hair not only to feel good with the products in it, but also after I've rinsed it out. Now for my deep conditioner, I'm using the Hair Mask Creamy Deep Conditioner. And before I apply the deep conditioner, let me go into tip number eight, which is to apply your deep conditioner on soaking wet hair. I find that this really allows the deep conditioner to easily sink in your hair. And also tip number nine is to apply deep conditioners with ingredients for natural Natural hair just like this one and a few ingredients I know my hair loves that's in this deep conditioner are shea butter sunflower oil fruit extracts and carrot seed oil and look at that curl you know my hair is nice and moisturized now into tip number 10 is to comb the deep conditioner in for better penetration of the deep conditioner and you could see how well this deep conditioner is just really clumping my curls this is how I know I'm getting that hydration that nourishment from the deep conditioner and it's definitely for me and here's what my curls look like before I add water and comb the deep conditioner in and it makes a big difference.
and see how well my curls are clumping even better after I did those two steps. That's why I'm always doing these steps and my hair loves it. After I've applied the deep conditioner to all four sections, I'm going to add a plastic cap to help intensify this deep conditioning treatment for 10 minutes while I take my extended shower. And that deep conditioning treatment helped and you could see how well my curls are clumped. This deep conditioner is amazing. It has amazing benefits, it smells good, and it just leaves my curls feeling so nourished. Now I'm gonna rinse the deep conditioner out with cold water. It helps increase the shine, prevent a lot of frizz, and you could just see how juicy these curls are. So 10 out of 10 would recommend the cleanser and deep conditioner, which many of you know, if you've been watching my videos, I have them in my favorites. And tip number 12 is to use a cotton t-shirt to soak up the excess water. Now that my hair and scalp are nice and clean, it's time to style and I'm gonna prep my hair with some nice clean parts. I already know that I'm doing twist and twist as a protective style has so many benefits, which is why I'm doing this video and I'm gonna make sure that I do clip my hair out of the way so I can work on one section at a time with ease. And to style my hair, I'm gonna use the Elastic Bounce Leave-In Conditioning Styler Hair Cream. And to keep that moisture locked in, I'm gonna use the Hair Oil Everyday Gloss. So I'm working on the back section. Because I'm wearing it as a protective style, I do want it to look nice and neat, so I find it's better this way. And look at how moisturized my curls are. And to help make clean parts, I just gather my hair up, almost like I'm gonna make a puff, and then I take the rat tail end of the rat tail comb and just slide it across, making sure that I'm staying nice and horizontal. And as I'm parting my hair, generally I have an idea of the size of twist I want, and I want a medium size, so not too small, not too big. So I'm just making sure that I'm creating this subsection that will allow me to have that. And tip number 15 is to mist water to help re-moisturize hair. Yes, water is a moisturizer alone. It's very lightweight. That's why I'm always adding extra products like this hair cream. And it's a two-in-one curl styling cream and leave-in conditioner. So it allows your hair to be treated while you wear your style. And I'm adding this hair oil in just to help seal that moisture in. And this hair oil is an everyday gloss for smooth, glossy strands. So you can add it every day and it is multi-purpose. So you can apply it as a pre-treatment or styler like I'm doing right now. And yes, I'm combing the subsection just to ensure that my hair is nice and smooth. And while I'm twisting my hair, I'm gonna make sure that I twist very snug. And if I feel like I need a little bit more product, I will add more. And I am going to continue to comb my hair just to make sure that it's nice and smooth. This helps no matter if I'm doing a twist out or I'm wearing my twist as a protective style because I wanna make sure when my hair does dry, it's nice and smooth. And lastly, make sure to twirl the ends of your hair to help secure the twists and this right here is what we don't want to do rush the twist not making sure that it's nice and secure or tight not twirling the ends just kind of half stepping this is not good and you see right here the difference between a good twist on the right and a not so good twist on the left so I'm gonna redo this twist just to make sure you can see I'm reinforcing the twist making sure that the twists are nice and snug the strands are twisted around each other nice and firm make sure like I always say to do your styles with intent make sure that you're actually twisting your hair that you're taking the time and that you twirl the ends this is gonna help make sure that the twist does stay nice and secure and I'm going to show you how I twist my hair several more times so you can get the gist. And I really love the hair cream. So you could see how I have a soft hold and I'm getting definition. This works really good on most curl types on its own. But if you do want a longer lasting or if you have tighter curls, you can layer this under a gel. But for me, I'm just using the cream on its own.
All right, and I had the first row done and here's how it looks. And moving on to the second row, I'm still being mindful of the size I want for my twist to be. And I also ensure that I do look and inspect just to make sure that the row is not slanting and that there is enough hair. There's been times where I had to redo a section just to make sure that I had enough hair because sometimes the part may slant down all the way and it just doesn't look right. So I do make sure that the rows have enough hair from ear to ear. Also, I love that this oil is multi-purpose, so you can apply it every day as your styling oil because it is lightweight and I do love that because you know I love my oils and you can use it as a pre-wash treatment, like a pre-poo. Also, this oil does help to repair and strengthen the hair, so it helps treat damage and gives the hair some extreme high definition gloss, which helps keep these twists nice and juicy all week long. And here's how the second row looks after I have finished it and I love how my twists feel. Like they feel weighted but not too heavy. Like I have some bounce and movement. So the twists aren't hollow and that's another factor to look out for. And here is my actual speed. I typically speed up all the footage in my videos for the sake of time, but I do want you to know that I am taking my time. I'm being gentle with my hair. It does make a big difference. I don't wanna rip my hair, rush the process of styling. I want all my styles to come out right the first time. So do take your time. And if you have to redo a twist, a perm rod, flexi rod, braid, whatever the style is, then just redo it. But just make sure you do take your time. This is a learning process. I didn't get this right the first time. And I have been doing my hair since I was six years old. And I am now in my 30s, <laughs> but not three decades yet. As I'm almost finished twisting all of my hair, you can see how uniform these twists are, which is great. And with the power of editing, I have completed all of my twists. They look so juicy, so healthy, and I love it. Tip number 26 is to trim your hair as needed. And this is another reason why I love doing twists as a protective style, because you could trim your hair as necessary. Any of the straight ends that don't quite twirl up, just trim those off. I just cut my hair a couple months ago, so I don't really need to cut much off just a little bit in the front and next tip number 27 is to wear your bonnet every night this is going to help keep your hair in those ends nice and protected while you sleep and it helps avoid a lot of frizz all right day number two and tip number 28 is to use a satin scrunchie to help protect your hair like this one which is from bread i love it it keeps my hair out of my face and i can work out and i just like the way it looks and feels this also helps protect my hair and it is still intact after a workout so there's no creasing my hair is not getting frizzy from this scrunchie and tip number 29 is to be kind to yourself i have this board right here this is my weekly focus and i just think it's so important to be nice to yourself there's so much going on in this world we're affected every day and it could cause a lot of stress so if you don't keep the stress at bay it's bound to have an effect on your body internally externally and on your hair I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> it's day three and I'm playing with my toddlers at the neighborhood park. It was so nice this day. It got up to like 74, 75 and it felt so good. And my hair still looks nice without any effort. This is why I love these low maintenance hairstyles. All I do is put my bonnet on every night and take it off in the morning and my hair still looks so good, so juicy. And this is why using quality products like Bread Beauty is so important. It really makes breaks your hairstyles and the health of your hair and scalp so this is why tip number 30 i'm applying a scalp serum and this is their cooling greens 
exfoliating scalp treatment and this is going to help with the health of my scalp and healthy hair starts at the scalp and this scalp serum is cooling anti-itching because it does have menthol and eucalyptol to help give instant cooling relief for itchy and irritated scalp i work out every day from 30 to 40 minutes so this is something that i definitely need also it helps to exfoliate and there's super greens in there like broccoli sprout extract green tea extract to help balance an overall healthy scalp and here's how my hair and scalp look on day six make sure that your scalp is staying nice and healthy now to day seven i am about finished with this style i want to make sure that i'm washing my hair one to two times a week so this is going to be once for this week i'm applying a little bit more of the hair oil because i want to help prevent unnecessary frizz so tip number 31 is to apply a little bit more oil to your hair i know frizz happens but i want to avoid like that extra extra frizziness i still want to keep a lot of definition in my hair and because it has been seven days i just want to make sure that my hair still looks fresh enough to wear out and tip 32 is to gently unravel the twist so please just take your time this is not a race and if you want to have that definition and be able to wear your hair and a twist out for a couple days then just take your time a lot of times i've seen naturals rush through it and then they create unnecessary frizz or they comb through the curl definition that you would have and you know we can all prevent that just be gentle twirl and separate your curls for extra volume if you want and look at that definition after a week this is how I know that Bread Beauty products are quality. They are amazing. And I've been telling you this ever since I first tried them out two years ago. And I'm still unraveling the twist. My hair, it feels so moisturized. I wish you could feel it through the screen. Like, I know you can see this definition. These curls are on point. They're popping after a week. I'm really happy with my results. My scalp feels really good it's not itchy especially after working out every single day i mean the results speak for themselves <laughs> and if you want you can gently fluff your hair for some more volume you know i love my definition i love my volume so i got both of them and my hair was protected all week long i still look good this is why i love doing styles like this and my hair just looks amazing after a week i could wear this out for another week if i wanted to but you already know. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye.